If you have dreams of finding a Greek island with cute little alleyways and lots of white and blue, well, we have found it for you. Today we are exploring the stunning island of Paros and we're going to show you around. If you are wondering where Paros is, it is part of the Cyclades Islands in the Asian Sea and it's right next to Naxos and we were in Naxos oh, about a week ago and we did make a video on that. You can watch that right here. So Paros Island has I think about 14,000 total permanent residents. We're here in the town of Perikia right now. It's the main town and it has about 4,500 people that live here. Also, next door to Paros is Antiparos, a smaller island and we will be visiting that today as well. I'm still in the ashes when you get dressed in so we've already been spending a few days here on Paros and something I'm loving about it, it's not that big at all, but this old town is super windy, it's like a little maze and I honestly still don't know where things go. For instance, <laughs> we had no idea this was up here. We've been here for days, we had no clue. Wow, it's quite the view and there's like a little chapel here but the view is well, that's pretty spectacular. This is so cool. The views up here are absolutely amazing and we, we really didn't know where we were going. We just stumbled across it, but what did you find? We are in Greece and there's obviously a ton, a ton of history here. And each of the islands seems to have its own history that dates back like so many thousands of years. But as we're just walking here, we come across the remnants of this temple of Athena that goes back to the 6th century BC. Crazy. <laughs> that's old. <laughs> I mean, you can see there's not much left of it. Uh, it's in complete ruins, but you know if I walk up just a little bit you get a better view I mean you can see the little uh, chapel right there, but this is this is where it was So this part of Old Town is actually made up of an old castle. It's called the Frankish Castle. It was built in 1260 by, you guessed it, the Venetians. They were involved in everything. Oh, it's a long, hard fall from the top of the world, but it's finally over, finally over. So now we are at one of the main tourist attractions here on Paros. I'm gonna need my phone for this one because mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. It's a church. It's called Panagia Ekatontapoliani. Good attempt. <laughs> or also called Panagia Katapoliani. It actually translates to Church of 100 Doors and nobody knows why it's called that because there aren't 100 doors. But it's a big pilgrimage spot here in Greece. So turn on every siren Still you can hear me scream Cause still I am a liar And I will haunt you in your dreams Okay, so I managed to capture a little bit of the inside until we were politely asked to leave. I totally get it's a church, it's a modesty thing that I have every right to ask people yeah. to, but it was because we were wearing shorts. And then a bunch of people with shorts walked in after us and they let them go in. Yeah, so the annoying part is that we were the only ones singled out. And it's not because of the camera. Everyone has cameras and everyone's in shorts in there. Oh well. Something that we are definitely noticing about Paros is that it has a very chic vibe Does to it. Ever. it. Lots of cute restaurants, boutiques, jewelry stores. <laughs> it's kind of torture because we like to shop, but our budget goes to travel. Yeah, we should really maybe start a shopping channel, but not on TV, like a YouTube channel. And you should sponsor us. So we can shop. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a long, hard fall from the top of the world, but it's finally over. Another thing we are definitely loving about this town are all the beaches within very close proximity, like this really quiet one right behind me. There's another one over on that side of the island. I don't know the name, and there's one way further down, about a 25 minute walk that we were at yesterday. It is beautiful down there. Like all great waterfront towns, this one has a really cool strip. It's particularly quiet during the day and really charming. <laughs> and at night, it's well, the opposite. They shut down the street to cars 
everybody comes out, the restaurants are busy, it's really lively, it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's a long, hard fall from the top of the world, but it's finally over, finally over. All right, guys, there's a bus behind us right now. We're about to head over to Antiperos, so we're gonna get this little guy, and then, well, he's a big guy, and then get on a boat, and then go to Antiperos. So just to let you know, there are two options to get over there. There is a ferry directly from town, but it's more expensive and it takes longer, yeah. so we're gonna do the bus and smaller ferry option. About 20 minutes, nice drive along the coast. The ferry's here waiting for us. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going right over there. Yeah, so I think it's just that little cluster of white uh, buildings over there. So it's, I'd say what, we got five, 10 minutes? Something like that. on the ground in anti Peros, and well I can tell you right away it is very quiet here. Very. So there are only about like 1500 inhabitants or permanent residents that mm -hmm. is on this whole island so it's really not that busy at all. No and well there's one famous person that we know of here named Tom. Tom Hanks. Yeah he has a house here. We uh, called him up and he's gonna have dinner with us so stay tuned for that. Yeah just make sure you stay till the end of the video because Tom and us well we're gonna be hanging out. Cause when you're beside me So I think that was a an okay drone flight. The footage looked good on the screen, so hopefully uh, you, well, you guys are seeing that or you just saw it already. But while it was up there, we saw a little beach and it looked kind of like a little lagoon. So we're gonna go check that out. Kind of random because we're not at a lake or anything, but there's some geese here. <laughs> yeah, I mean these geese got the same idea as we do. Guys are just hanging out, chilling at the beach, proper place to be. I think they're doing it right. Look, check it out, how peaceful. We made it over to the beach. It's pretty much a lagoon. It's quiet. It's, well, everything we like. <laughs> this is pretty much why we travel. Yep. I mean, if you have been following along, you might have seen our uh, itinerary yeah. video where we kind of like said we'll what it. we were thinking about doing, but we didn't really know. And then we just ended up on Antiperos. We didn't really plan to come here. It just yeah. happened. And then we find beautiful lagoons like this. It, like this is what it's all about. What's funny is we didn't even know we were coming to Peros until I think last week. Yeah. And then we got to Peros and now we're in Antiperos yeah. and now we're at this lagoon beach behind us. With Life is good. Not a lot of people. Yeah. Life is good. It's always like they hate to find. Yeah. The disregarded is all they want when time goes by. Oh man, the beach was so good, but right now we are approaching golden hour. The sun is going down. It's like pretty mid-evening right now, but whoa, this place so far is kind of blowing us away. Definitely. So what's something we heard about Antiperos compared to Peros, we did mention like how chic Peros yep. is. 
apparently this has it even more so. So not more of, but more so. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So we'll even show you. Seeker, is we'll that a show word? you a little bit of that now, so you can kind of compare the two, because you got Peros and its arch enemy Antiphos. <laughs> took a little explore around and I think now we understand the differences. It's a little easier to see but we're right back in that golden sunset. We're gonna lose our light soon so we're gonna wrap up. So a lot of people have said to us, Inti Paris only needs a day. It's really quiet. It is extremely quiet. If that's your thing, I'm sure you could spend a lot more than a day on here. Yeah, you could. There's lots to do, but it is really quiet. Something you definitely love. It's, it is definitely chic. We walk by so many gorgeous boutiques. I would love to go do some shopping either here or on Paros. Totally. Too, but it's not happening. How fun was it today to jump between Paros and then come into Anti Paros? It was perfect. Guys, if you have the chance to get over here to Greece, you should probably come and visit these two islands because we had a blast. Definitely. All right, guys, that's it. From Peros and Antiperos, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. And wait, if you got this far in the video, you might as well click the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up and click the little bell for notifications on our next video. Bye. You made it to the end of the video, and you're probably wondering where Tom is. He's a little camera shy, so yeah. he asked us not to film tonight. I understand. It's a lot of pressure to be on our Delightful Travelers video. So we're Tom, intimidating. We're intimidating. And we are. Next time we're here, hit us up. <laughs>